Hello class and happy spring. I just wanted to go over very quickly some of the things that you're looking at this week for the modules for your research essay. Now um, I'm going to jump directly to that so that you can see what it looks like. You're already familiar because you saw last week the research essay assignment. It looks like this in your modules and again you should be going through your modules pressing the next button so that you see everything that's coming up, um, not just going to assignments because the assignment might not show up if it's a discussion or it's not timed in a certain way. The research essay is made up of a few different things. Your number one, your research essay. A research essay is gonna be about eight pages minimum and it's going to have, have outside sources that you're gonna quote from. And those outside sources we're gonna talk about more um, at a later time. So you've already got, gotten started on some of that stuff, learning about how to quote, learning about how to cite your essays. So um, this assignment is a research essay. It should be on a topic that you decide that you get to choose, but it has to be a, an, a topic that's current, um, uh, that's being discussed, and it, that is arguable. So you're going to be looking for the argument, argument within the topic. Um, and that's what we're going to be working on this week and next week. So you'll be turning in a research essay at the end of the semester, around the 17th week of class. So uh, at the very end, right before finals week. Then you're going to also be turning within the next four weeks some other assignments that are all on the same exact topic. So if your topic, if you're dealing with um, immigration and issues of immigration, that's going to be your generalized topic you're gonna be writing your essay on that and all of the other assignments are going to be associated with that for the research project on that specific topic. Let me say that again, your topic, the topic that you choose to write your research essay on, you're gonna be doing other assignments, smaller assignments that are gonna get you ready for that. It's all gonna be on the same topic. <clears throat> all right, so you're gonna have six summary and responses that you're gonna be turning in online. These are about one page each and I'll go into them in further detail in a moment. You're also going to be writing drafts of your thesis statement. You've already done this for your other essays before and it's going to go the same way, um, but I'm going to be commenting on your thesis statement specifically. Um, and then a first draft and a final draft so you're gonna write a first draft, you're gonna get comments on it, we'll meet about it, and then you're gonna write your final draft based on that. This is a good time right now to make some appointments ahead of time with Jarrett so that you can start getting ready for um, writing this research essay. You're also gonna have a work cited as, um, page on your research essay, and that's gonna show all of the work that you quoted from and cited from in your actual essay. Remember that you need to cite and quote from somebody in order to have them on your research essay page, web, um, work cited page. Your research essay should be a research essay that examines or argues a central thesis statement. <clears throat> that means that you're gonna write this thesis statement about your topic and you're gonna find an argument, right? You're gonna be discussing something within that, that major topic. You're gonna do research and show um, how that is an issue, is a problem, what are the solutions for it, those kinds of things. Um, and it should be about eight pages minimum, um, 2,400 words of text. So this is the longest one that you've written. It may be for some of you the longest essay you've ever written before. So we're gonna take it in bite-sized pieces and that's what those summary and responses are for. Uh, you're going to do most of your research on the FCC database, and so I'm going to show you that as well. Okay, so that's the beginning of this um, research essay. You're going to have a project that goes along with it where you're going to be turning in shorter um, summary, and, summary and responses. You're going to do most of your research on the um, L, uh, Fresno City College databases in the library, and um, you're going to be quoting and citing and writing a work cited page with that. So those are all the things that you're going to be looking at doing over the next few weeks. So we're going to take it in small bite-sized pieces, like I said, to get you ready for it. Now let's just take a quick look at the um, brainstorming a topic.
You may not have seen this page before, but this is a top, this is a page that um, doesn't have an assignment with it, but it does have a video. And the video is going to show you how to start developing your ideas into a topic. I strongly suggest you watching that early this week so that you can get started deciding what your topic is. One of the things that I want you to do is not to just decide on one topic. Have a few different topics, even if they're somewhat related to each other, write them down in a list and go through that list and, and take a look at that list and see what you might be able to um, get research-wise from that. Don't just start with the first one or the second one that you think of. It may be something that you end up writing about, but make a list so that you know I, that you're gonna have lots of information to write about. Because I don't want you to get to four pages and then just be stuck because you don't have enough information because you chose a topic that's not narrow enough or isn't broad enough or isn't uh, doesn't have enough research associated with it. Um, okay, so this page specifically is going to get you um, to look at your topics and there's a number of them here. So let's take a look at that. These are broad topics. So these are really big, huge topics. Each one of them students have written essays about before and very successfully. So I've added them in here. They're also somewhat related to some of the stuff that we've been reading about and learning about in class over the past 12, 13 weeks. So broad, world, uh, broad topics, world food problems, their effects on the environment. So you could definitely write about vegetarianism. You could write about problems with food scarcity and um, things that come up with population like in Ishmael, for example. Um, the U.S. food industry, things like uh, the documentary Food Inc. that came out, food quality and safety, um, uh, famine, all of those kinds of issues. Okay, notice that these are all issues. These are all things that are going to possibly have people arguing on one side or the other of them. Okay, food safety, the food industrial complex. Those are all really interesting ideas you can definitely get started on. Um, a broad topic on women, feminism, um, media and gender in the media, um, how uh, body image is uh, shown in the media. You might um, even look at um, uh, commercials and advertising and, and television and see how um, we are represented um, in those uh, media. Uh, the, Flint and the Flint and the water crisis. A few years ago um, when <clears throat> the president's uh, the um, nominees for president were talking, they went specifically to Flint and talked about how they were going to try and change things. Doing a really good in-depth research um, essay on that is gonna give you so much information. Um, there's so much out there. And if you don't know about the Flint water crisis, you should learn about it and write an essay about it. It's really interesting. Okay, immigration, DACA, Dreamers, the DREAM Act, all of those kinds of issues are definitely okay to write your essay about. Even if you want to just write about one thing within those, that's okay as well, because these are pretty broad topics. Um, technological innovations, artificial intelligence, um, the projection of American jobs with AI criminal justice system and reform. Some of you are going into criminology. You might wanna write an essay that's in, a, in, in um, connection to what you're, what you're majoring in. Uh, healthcare reform or healthcare in general, especially with regards to the pandemic. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff that you can research out there about that, um, especially if you're in healthcare. Uh, student athlete compensation. Um, there's also an, a section for American Indian topics for my RAIN students. Um, and anyone can write an essay about these by, re, by researching them. There's some wonderful stuff available online. Um, and um, if you need help, me or Jarrett or the librarians can help you do that. Um, so you can write about any of the topics that are listed below for that. The last thing that I wanted you to take a look at <clears throat> is going to be the summary and response project. These are short essays, um, one page or one and a half pages long each that you're gonna be turning in twice a week for the next few weeks, starting 
probably the end of next week. So you'll be turning in a bunch of them, uh, six of them. And you're gonna be writing these topics after reading articles in the library database. So you're gonna wanna take a look at that. Okay, so I'll go into that in a little bit more detail and library resources in the next video, but I wanted to give you a heads up of the research project and the research essay that are gonna be due. You have this week to really decide what you wanna write about. I suggest writing about something that you know a little bit about and something that's really interesting or important to you, uh, an issue that's come up. Um, and um, if you don't know about it, definitely start doing a little bit of research on it. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. See you in the next video.